So I'll just finish cementing and then I'll join you in the front, okay? Now, Arthur, where are we going to place you? Like that? Or uh, like that? Oh, come on, then I'll find it. Mine's full. I want four. I want to turn on the pen. Do you want your football? I'll get it in a minute. I've got my hands full. Oh, yeah, I can see that, Derek. What are you doing? Securing some garden ornaments in cement. All right. Yeah, he talks to them. He doesn't talk to them. He doesn't talk to them, do you, Derek? He does, um, one of them's called Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, is that right? <laughs> well, <clears throat> Hello, Arthur. I'm Martin. I'm Sarah Louise. <laughs> so, uh, what's the other one called, then? Oh, the other one's called Guinevere. Guinevere? Arthur and Guinevere. <laughs> so, are they married, then, Derek, or are they just uh, living over the brush? Look, I'll, uh, I'll get you a football. Here. Ta. <laughs> Thanks, Derek, and uh, sorry about that. Um, bye, Arthur. Bye, Mrs. Guinea Pig. <laughs> Well, of course, they're not real footprints. Stranger things have happened. Perhaps we should contact Arthur C. Clarke. Oh, yes, we have our photographs all over the Sunday newspapers. Don't you dare. Just somebody having a, a practical job. Those footprints are very lifelike. Well, whoever's done it's used some sort of a stencil. Or a doll's shoe. Possibly. Definitely. Leave this to me. Excuse me. I, I suppose you think this is all terribly funny. You want me? Yes, you. Uh, with your daughter's help, perhaps. You nearly had me fooled, but not quite. You see, Arthur takes a size two, whereas I think you'll find Barbie is a one. <laughs> Elementary. Case sold. <laughs> you are? So if you don't mind, I'd be grateful if you let me have him back where he belongs. Derek, we haven't got the faintest idea what you're talking about. Oh, not you, Jerry. Don't make a fool of yourself. Well, ask your husband and your daughter. They're the practical jokers. I think the only joker's you, Derry. I get it. Oh, can you do us a favour? Uh, Sally's just been round. Uh, Rosie's not well and she wants to take her to the doctors. And Glennis, my child mind is away and I was wanting to leave these two with Sally, but now I can't. Anyway, I don't want them to catch anything. So, can I look after them? Don, would you mind? I'm late already. Alma's doing a nut. Well, I'm supposed to be going to Preston, but... I can always ring in and pass it on to somebody else. Don't do that. I mean, there's no need. Oh, what I mean is I could look after the kids if it's all right with you. I mean, I'm doing nothing. Oh, well, it's very kind, but... I mean, obviously, uh, if you prefer Don. I think Josie can manage. I can tell her what's what. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's no trouble to ring in, you know. There's plenty of fellas that'd be glad at fair. I really would like to get to know the kids if it's all right with you. <laughs> if it's all right with Sarah Lou, it's all right with me. And you know where I am if you need anything. That's settled then, eh? Yeah! yeah! Mr. Bowles is very up. It's got a new baby. Oh. Nothing wrong, is no, there? No, no. Everything's fine. No, she wants to come and see you in case you were worried about her. <laughs> I'll have a cup of tea, please. The usual for me. No, I just happened to mention that I don't know many people in the street. Sometimes remembers a lot of things I'd rather have forget. <laughs> Sit down. I'll bring them over. That's Mrs. Armstrong. Don't ask me where Mr. Armstrong is, cos nobody knows. You don't mind me leaving my stuff in the house till, till I've got time to come and pick it up, though, do you? Well, uh, I was hoping to have the place looking nice when we moved in. You know, how much stuff is there? We've got a baby to think about. Well, I'm doing my best. I'm doing all this on my own, you know. I mean, the number of people round here with cars, it'd take me half an hour to shift it if somebody gave me a lift. Oh, but no, not in a million years. <clears throat> so, uh, if I give you a lift with your stuff, can you move it all today? I will five o'clock suit you. Fine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> He's been married lots of times to different people. Yes, I'm sure. I've done it. Done what? Wrong Jeff Bryant and told him I would love to work for him. And all this is to get at Mike. Well, what's wrong with getting at Mike? Nothing. Long as I don't get caught in the crossfire. That's 
Salma. She's mummy's friend. She's quite tall, but the husband's not that much bigger than me. <laughs> Hello. That one is Rita and that one's Mavis. Yes, and that's all we need to know, thank you. I asked her to tell me about Don's neighbours. She's been telling me a bit more than a bargain oh. for. Rita's lovely, Mavis is nice, but she gets carried away. <laughs> thank you very much. I am sorry, yeah. Which is what it is. Thank you. Oh, dear. Hello, love. That's Sally, the one that's supposed to be looking after us, but Rose is sick. <laughs> Are you having a nice day? Great. Bye, having a nice day. Yeah, yeah, so I think we nice better go day. before you say any more. Seems to be becoming part of the family. Whether she'll still want to be after a day with Sarah Louise is another matter. Oh, she's not being difficult, is she? No, indiscreet. Of course, they're not her own opinions. She'll have picked those up from certain people. Well, you certainly couldn't argue with them. It must be very strange for her and Dom, though. I mean, presumably Ivy could just walk right back in. Yeah. Jane Eyre. Don't you remember? She fell in love with Mr. Rochester and they got as far as the altar. And then it all came out that he was already married and he had a wife, a mad woman up in the attic. Oh, can't remember what happened after that. Well, Ivy's not mad. <laughs> she might be in the attic, though. Oh. <laughs> anyway, what's all this about little Rosie being sick? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a bug. The doctor's prescribed her bed and comics. That's what I'm here for. Ah, oh, poor little Mike. Oh, she's going to be all right. You know, you could do with a break. Oh, you're telling me. Now, look, this is just an idea. But somebody came in here this morning trying to get rid of a cottage somewhere in Wales. They'd had to cancel it. So it was dirt cheap. Well, no, it's not that. We can't get away yet. It's oh. Kevin. He's got a couple of weeks off in September, and that's it. Oh, well, just a thought. Yes. The house burned down. That's how it ended. Oh, was that, Rebecca? Anyway, he went blind, and she married him. Jane Eyre. Oh, I see. Yes, well, do you know, I could go with you. If you fancied it, you know, if you fancied a break. Well, yeah, that sounds great. I'll have a word with Kevin about it. Right. Are you sure it's all right with Mavis, though? Oh, yes, of course it's all right with me. Yeah, Mavis doesn't mind. She doesn't get carried away, do you? Everybody likes you. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Mr. Sugden, this yeah. is my friend Joseph, and her husband's died. Guess what? What? She's had him cremated. Yeah, but he did want to be cremated. I mean, I didn't just cremate him for my own diversion. <laughs> well, I'm not against cremation. I've always thought it's been very hygienic. Anyway, it's very nice meeting you again. <laughs> I've always been polite to him because I've always thought he's a real father Christmas. I see. So what happens to the ashes when you get cremated? Oh, I don't know how we got onto this subject. Don't you think we ought to change it? No, it's good. Well, people like to have them scattered somewhere. Somewhere that they liked when they were alive. And that really is the end of the story. Come on, David wants to hear Postman Pat. Yeah! I'm not alive, you ain't dead. I know. Do you want to see a picture of her? After the story. There's one over there. Where? Oh, it's gone now. It used to be a picture Ooh, of her. Ooh, who's there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you had a nice time? Great. Do you, and do you know what? I'm going to be scared to do when I'm dead. Oh, what <laughs> have you been telling her? I don't think I could tell her anything. She's been doing all the telling. <laughs> <laughs> have you been good? She's been a joy to be with. I know everything now. She's been telling me all about Granny Ivy. Oh. Well, that must have been a bit awkward for you. Oh, not from her. Mind you, I got a few funny looks when I went to the shops. They're just nosy. They don't mean any harm. It's a complicated situation with Don and Ivy. I mean, it's not as though I took him away from anyone. I know that. Everyone knows that. She came back. I... Well, we've never really discussed what would happen, but... Look, uh, everybody knows that Don's had a tough time of it this last couple of years. Everybody knows it, and everybody wishes him well. You're the best thing that's happened to Don for a long time. <laughs>